Okay, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Sebs and thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Today for making their first appearance um, on the channel is Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac, uh, familiar. They're the ones that made that landslide song, right? I actually haven't really listened to the original version, but I uh, I was into the Smashing Pumpkins for a bit and this song, like their cover of this, I, I listened to quite a bit. So I'm actually pretty, uh, I'm excited to check this out actually, learn a little bit about them and we're gonna check out today go your own way we're checking this out thanks to a sponsorship by michael j thank you so much for your generosity and michael says um lindsey buckingham this is lindsey buckingham's i'm guessing that's the singer breakup song to band member stevie nicks they were high school sweethearts but fame fortune was too much he's a top guitarist and plays only finger style all right so michael knows that um i'm totally into the 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 finger style because he, uh, Michael is the one that got us to check out Dire Straits for our first time. I think. Don't quote me on that. Fleetwood Mac, uh, British American rock band. Interesting, dude. So they went through a lot of changes um, on, on band members. They heard about Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks and then they joined. Fleetwood Mac has sold more than 120 million records worldwide, making them one of the world's best selling bands. Man, there's a lot. They won um, Album of the Year for a Grammy and then a Grammy Hall of Fame award in 2003 well, okay let's check this out no idea what actually what to expect because again the 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 mindset that i have with fleetwood mac is again landslide and listening to billy corgan sing it so let's do this thank you uh, so much for clicking on this video thank you michael for the suggestion let's roll it okay okay i actually didn't expect it to be like rocking so hard. Let's go. Is that an acoustic electric and it kind of has a little distortion on it? That sounds good. so interesting i can't catch the beat that sounds familiar dude When he does these belting, dude, it sounds awesome. Give it to me, dude. Okay. I want to double check that I'm understanding the lyrics because if I'm understanding them the way I am right now, I really like the message. Yeah, it's a breakup song. Loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change things that I feel? If I could, baby, I'd give you my world. How can I when you won't take it from me? You can go your own way. That's fantastic. Writers, Lindsey Buckingham. All right, so this is how stupid I am, uh, but you guys will appreciate that I, I think I did this quick little piece of research. That's Lindsey, and that's Stevie Nicks. I thought, 
Yeah. So this is the breakup song between them, huh? Oh man, that was a... Um, dude, I can't believe that this is a live performance. How many times have we said that on the channel, by the way, with checking out live performances from these historic bands? It sounds amazing. What guitar is this, dude? Confused with this instrument, dude. Let's go. It sounds so much better with finger plucking, dude. It's an electric guitar because you can't you can't bend the strings that easily on a <laughs> Yeah bro. That's wonderful. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great song, dude. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so I'm trying to find out. So we got Lindsey Buckingham right here shredding. Um, who is singing? Who is singing though? Is that because as I look at it, that looks like Stevie Nicks. So it looks like they got back together and then they were performing the song about the breakup. Is that what's going on? Definitely not, right? The strumming of his guitar sounds freaking beautiful, dude. I oh, mean, I have become such a fan of finger plucking, dude. All of these guys. So Mick Fleetwood is the drummer. Yeah, he's, especially in his age, dude, he's not missing a beat, literally. Very rarely does a live version of a song surpass the original studio recording. This is definitely one of them. Well, I'm glad this is the one we checked. That, it sounded phenomenal. Look at this comment. I was lucky to see this live. Oh my gosh, man. Um, I hope it's okay, but I kind of want to, I want to listen to the solo again. Okay, and so that's uh, Mick Fleetwood, okay. Yeah, that's cool, dude. I love how hard the song rocked and they're older. It almost like, it expresses like music like this, lively music, almost like keeps you from, you know, aging. What a healthy way to age, right? 
Yeah, that song was great. Uh, I really like the sound of Lindsey Buckingham's uh, guitar playing, dude. That's probably the highlight for me. That and also the drummer. His his energy is contagious. Love the sound of the guitar. I was confused the entire time. Like, I couldn't tell if it was an acoustic guitar or whatnot because it looked like... I'm still confused, actually, so I'm excited to see the comments. Dude, all of these guys are making me... Um, I, I want to practice my finger plucking, dude. It has a, like, rounder sound, and I like it. I, I'm really liking the sound. This video was posted onto YouTube in, on August 21st, 2010, and it has 40 million views, dude. People love this performance, which is, I can see, I mean, I honestly can see why, dude. Checking out all of these historic bands makes me, uh, makes me, again, sad for what we have today. But you know what? Something tells me that with the hard times, you know, the world is going through right now, I feel like music will be re-inspired. So I have, uh, I have hope. And especially because my generation, what we have is we have all of these archives of these incredible musical performances that hopefully can inspire us. Well, not hopefully, that do inspire us. What do you guys think? What makes that performance so good to you? Why do you love that so much? Should we check out more Fleetwood Mac? I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, thank you, Michael, for suggesting this. I, I feel stupid for not checking, <laughs> like watching this band earlier in my career, earlier in my career earlier in my life. Much love, everybody. Till the next one.